How are we doing everybody? Scott Brown here, Construction Technology Partners. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick overview uh, and explanation of our iDig 2D Touch system, some of the components that's involved with it and what the setup looks like. I'm just going to start here by showing you the main components. So this is our demo trolley. We use this to, to showcase how the, the system goes together and how it operates. Uh, but this is basically the same process that you would see on, a, on any size excavator. So we're going to start with our display. This is our cradle that mounts in the cab. We've got our connected to power and just snap our display in and it'll power up. Uh, this is our chassis sensor that will receive power once the unit's connected up, this stays in the machine. We also can make it removable as well. Most of these times we just leave that in the machine. This is our LED indicator that gives us our cut fills. Um, and then on here we have a sensor for our, our chassis, our boom, our stick, and our bucket. So I'm gonna show you the sensors here. These are wireless sensors, they're completely wireless. They charge via solar, via UV. So each sensor installs on the machine simply by locking in and just snapping, you heard it snap. Once it locks in, you'll see the light start to flash. It activates the sensor. These are the older style sensor, sensor mounts that require a key to lock and unlock. The new style have a thumb latch release. Uh, the next sensor is for the stick. The sensor is really cool in the fact that it's got a, a built-in laser receiver. That laser receiver allows us to set up a rotating laser and we can move around the job without having to rebench the machine. It can bench off the laser. There's also a larger seven inch receiver for if you got a larger machine that can replace the smaller sensor. This works really good on the mini excavators. Getting a larger machine, it may make sense to get the larger laser receiver. We'll install that sensor next. Then the last sensor we have is the bucket sensor and it'll just snap on here as well. So you may be wondering, you know, how do these mount to the machine? There's two different ways. We have uh, heavy duty 3M tape. There's thousands of these systems out there running use, utilizing this tape. But if you're not sure about that, we also have weld on mounts that allow us to weld on and mount the sensors on the machine that way as well. So once all the sensors are connected, you can see all of our lights are flashing on those. All we're gonna do is we go in and we select our machine. Another really awesome feature about this is we can have multiple machines wired up and we can use one system and move it between two, three, four, however many machines you choose to have ready for it. So in here we got the machine name and then the bucket that we have measured up. So I'm just gonna hit apply. We're gonna verify that everything is correct and then it's gonna ask us to bench. So I'm just gonna bench, I'm just gonna say this is zero. And so you can see here, I benched on top of my rubber stop here. So now anywhere I move the bucket, it's gonna give me a cutter of fill. So I've got a one and a quarter inch fill. And that should be three inches down to the table. So I've got two and seven to eighths inches down to the table. And then when I come back to my rubber stop, I'm back at zero. So anywhere I move this, it's gonna give me a cut fill to my bench location. And talking about the bench location, we can achieve that by benching the excavator manually or off of a laser receiver. So when it comes to setting this kit up, it's as simple as that. One of the awesome things that iDig does is it makes the calibration procedure very simple. And in the kit, it actually provides all the tools that you would need to do the calibration yourself. You know, we obviously do it upon install, but if it was ever required, uh, recalibration or remove it to another machine, all that can be achieved with the tools in the kit and it walks you through step by step in the display how to do that. All these components can come off the machine each night, fit nicely into this nice little carrying case. So a guy can take that, throw it in his pickup, no need to charge anything. These charge when they're out running on the machine. If there was a reason that we needed to charge these, there is a LED solar charger kit that allows us to charge all these sensors. The cabling, we get our power via cigarette lighter or most of the time we hardwire this to the machine. But the cable is all very rugged, small, very flexible, easy to route. You won't even really know it's on the machine once it's all installed. But you can see a very simple cost-effective solution for anyone doing basements, swimming pools, uh, duck bank, uh, footings for buildings. This is a really cost-effective solution to keep your guy from getting in and out of the machine and getting the grade the first time. So if you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out and let us know. If you want to schedule a demo or take another look at it, we'd be glad to do that as well. Thanks.